Howdy how you get openings here. Man, don't you love it when uh, Konami decides to finally release the ban list and you're at work and so you have to wait till dark 30 at night so you can actually start recording and hope, uh, you know, you don't hear spoilers from Yugi tubers and all that fun stuff. Yeah, okay. So, new ban list. I already pulled it up. Uh, I There was a spoiler. You'll see it as soon as it pulls up. Uh, other than that, going to this blind. There's, there's that spoiler as soon as you open up the page right there. So, uh, cards are forbidden, da 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 da. Uh, the next update after this will be no sooner than October 14th, so like three months from now. The previous will remain in effect till today. Today? Today's the 15th? What? What have I been doing with my life? Oh, yeah, work. Uh, okay, so I guess it takes into effect today, and it was released today? Yeah, okay. All right, so uh, the first obvious spoiler is going to be that Eclipse Wavern, probably because it got used as it does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, all right, so looks like for effect monsters, that's it. Uh, no new fusions. I'll just try and stay up, look at top screen here. Uh, so the, for <laughs> the Forbidden Lands. <laughs> wow. Uh, the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardichi is now Band, so Eclipse Wavern and the Phantom Knights. Only deck I really know is the Wombo Combo Orcus players, but oh my gosh, this oh this card in Orcus was just a little aggravating to deal with. But okay, so they kinda hit Orcus and I guess Wombo Combos. Uh let's see. No synchros, no XDs, no spells. The only band what? There's only there's only band two cards. Okay, sure. I'm I'm okay with both. Uh, going to the forbid. Uh, the limited multi, multi faker. That's its name. Multi faker's now at one, and then it looks like the black dragon collapse pant is also at one. Okay, okay. So it looks like they hit alter guys, or whatever. Multi else was multi faker was played in. Uh, yay. I mean, I guess you could play in Mystic Mine, but why would you do that rather than just playing love? Anyway, I'm rambling. So, okay, that's fair. Um, multi faker is like super stupid good for that deck. Uh, I, I pretty much just runs the deck by itself realistically because of the craziness you can do. Um, at least it's not banned, but you know, I think one is a little maybe a little harsh. I haven't played against Alter Guys too much or played with them so uh and then the black court the drac dragon the, the black the black dragon so if they limited this one if they don't limit or at least semi limit the white one then i don't know what the point of it entirely was cuz that would just be seemed weird to hit one of them you know what i mean but I guess if you hit one of them, then you know you don't need to play that one, the other one, the second one as much. But okay, that stops the whole wombo, more wombo combo. It's like the third card realistically for that the Orcus decks because I think they do this. If you can't tell, I've been a little bit out. This work's been killer. Uh, what else we got? I thought it said Red Eyes Darkness Battle is now limited. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Okay, so Gazelle is hit. So Gazelle's at one now. They're, they so they hit Salamangrate too, and then Tempest is back. Ooh, ooh! I know someone who's gonna be okay with that. Um, you can now play this in uh, Retro Beats and be like, yeah, let's go. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, that unlocks a couple. I mean, okay, that's gonna be fun. Uh, and then oh, okay. So this is all talking about. So the Black Dragon. And now the white dragon. So they so they limited both. Okay, that makes sense. If you limit one, you might as well limit the other. They work in tangent. Um, and then nothing for rituals. Constructs still at one. Uh, nothing for links. That's in, you know, okay. Well, I guess if they're gonna ban the phantom knights, then there's no point in like hitting the um, Galatea. So that's fair. Uh, I almost passed six. So Emerald is back to one. Ooh, I'm okay with that. I like that. I like that. Let's uh, open up some uh, some stuff. Oh, man, if only Sky Sharks could go 
Oh wait, they could play rank, link, uh, rank fours. Gray is a rank link, level four. Oh my gosh, I can't speak English today. Uh, what's what else is new? Uh, Salaman Great Circle. Okay, yeah, they hit Salaman Great. <laughs> that card is just, too, just a little bit too good. I mean, just, oh, it's your turn. Cool, free search. Let's go. Cause it's a quick play spell, and then yes. All right, I called this one kind of so. I've told the people that I know that honestly, the for those who don't like Sky Strikers, the absolute biggest problem card because the before I say it, the the whole entire deck realistically is fair. There's one card that isn't fair, and it's not engage. Engage actually is fair. Um, it's just drawing, getting three spells in grave, playing engage, and then drawing into engage is unfair. But what makes Engage unfair and all the other cards unfair is multi-roll. Because with Kagari now at one, and, and even with Kagari, like, that's a once per turn and you get one card. It's a one for one. Multi-roll, can't say, you can't do anything to my spells when you use the first effect. Um, and then you just get to pretty much reset your field. Like, that's totally not, like, just so unfair. Um... And if you notice, if you played against Sky Strikers, if the longer they keep their multi roll, the more screwed you are. Just because I I know this. I've played Sky Strikers. I've played the Trickstar Sky Strikers, um, and I've played against a lot of Sky Strikers. Um, there are very few games where I actually still won, like where I would win, not in time. Um, where I was able, they were able to keep their multi roll for like the entire game, but um, there are many games I won where I just got rid of the multi roll, or they didn't see it, or just something. Because the multi roll is just too stupid good. That that's the only card that I never actually liked with Sky Strikers. So I'm I'm actually okay with it being at one now because you only need one, and then if it goes to grave, just use Kagari to get it back, and there you go, problem solved. Yeah, you use your Kagari, but you got multi-roll, so you got your protection stuff. Or you can use Hercules Space to send it back into deck. Ooh. Uh, terraforming, Oh, now I'm really sad. No! So we, we, I guess we went with the OCG. And, and no, not the light stage! Oh. Well, uh, rip trick stars. No, not not yet. Um. Oh, oh, oh! They really have been hitting. Oh, ouch! Okay, okay. So with terraforming going to one, a lot of people saw it coming. Light stage going to one. Uh, rip trick star decks for the most part because that's like one of your best searches. Um, and then also this also hurts. Uh. Orcus, because um, I knew there are a few builds where you use the Trickstar engine, which was just legitimately light stage for um, Candina, and then you'd get Corbane, or you'd go Candina for light stage for Corbane, so you can get your Wombo combos going. So I can understand that going to one if you look at it in Wombo Combo Orcus and other decks that's going to start doing that craziness. Uh, what else? Uh, Metaverse is now one. Sweet. That's going to be a hit to the infamous uh, Mystic Mind deck. Yes. I am 100% okay with that. And then that's it for the limited. Okay. And then semi, we got... Whoa, we got a lot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow, we got 10. 10 down to semi. And then looks like three new ones. Okay, so what was taken off? The first is the Chaos Envoy. No one's really playing it. That's probably going to go to three next format. And then three danger cards. Oh, and it's the ones that are used in Orcus. Okay, well, and like Danger Thunder Dragons, if they're still a thing. I can't remember. Okay, yeah. Yep, yep, this is... This is totally hit towards Orcus. Like, this whole ban list is like, I don't want you playing Orcus. And, or, well, I guess they could just, like, limit the Mystic Mind to one if they really want to hit that deck. 
Uh, and then Ether, the Heavenly Monarch, is now to two. So that's pretty cool for Monarch players. Stratos is to two. Okay. Can't abuse him again yet, so that's fine. Uh, no. Just, I don't, I don't like, no. Oh, well. I'll get over it one day. And then Damage Juggler's now at two. Ooh. Ooh, sure it's at two now. Ooh. And then Royal Tribute's at two now? When was it at one? Oh, no, no, I take that back. I remember. Huh. Okay. Huh. All right, on to uh, Unlimited Scouts off. Okay. Cleave Forts are alive again. I don't think you can do too much nowadays. Uh, Luster Pendulum Draco Slayer is now off. That's 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 gonna be fun. Uh, Trish is off. I know someone's gonna enjoy that. Dark Hole Monster Gate Ant Rekindling's off. Why is it? No, don't. No, keep it at one. Uh no. Well. Okay, well, I guess we're going to... When's the next fire deck coming out that's going to have primarily monsters with 200 defense? Let's be real here. This is what's going on. This is exactly what's going to happen. And Super Poly's not at three. That's going to be fun. Also, yay, I guess. And then Judgment's to three. Did I say Super Poly's to one? Super Poly's at three. And then Judgment to three. Ooh, spicy. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Alrighty then. Um, this kind of feels like a little like because it's so weird that it's going off today, and I don't, I don't know what's going on this weekend. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna assume that there's some um, crazy tournaments coming up this big weekend. Woo! So I honestly think this is starting to be like more like a little emergency ban list because they pretty much killed Orcus. But as far as I know, the Orcus are pretty resilient. So, I mean, they can they can pull something out their butt. Although I guess now they have to figure something out besides using this pretty good card. Fin final thoughts. So this kind of feels like uh, more of an emergency ban list hitting um, mostly Orcus, but also kind of hitting, well, not kind of hitting, but definitely hitting the Salamangrates. And finally, putting Multi-World 1, I'm glad it is, because it's a pretty busted card. And then, um, I guess just kind of opening up a new path to uh, some new decks. And I guess I gotta go p find out or to get some rekindling for cheap while I can and pick those up. Because <laughs> I just, I got that feeling, man. I got that feeling. But anyway, guys, this has been Yuki Openings. And that's a wrap.